Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on editing model photos in Adobe Photoshop. Today we're going to be looking at how to edit this model photo to reduce the yellow tones in the image and also increase the contrast of the light and shadow. Now I took this model photo on a white background with just a standard desk lamp and that's why I'm getting these quite kind of yellowy tones in the photo. Most sort of common desk lamps you have will have a kind of light bulb in them that might have quite a yellow light to them. So you end up with quite a yellow looking photograph and we're going to be looking at first how to reduce those yellow tones. So we're going to be using Photoshop's adjustment layers which are found in the kind of bottom right hand corner of Photoshop here just under this little black and white circle at the bottom right hand corner. If we open up that option we've got a lot of different adjustment layers we can add and we're going to add first the color balance adjustment layer and this will just drop into the top of our layer profile there and once that's there it should open up your properties menu for that particular adjustment if for some reason you can't see that menu you can double click on the little icon next to the color balance and that will open up the properties for this now for this particular image we've got quite a strong sort of yellow tone over the whole image and I want to reduce that so we're going to use this slider here to just move the yellows over to the blue tone and you see as I do so we're losing that yellow instead we're kind of upping the blue tones in the image now this has the knock-on effect that it actually makes the image a bit more red so to then to balance that out we're also going to reduce the red tones and then you can see there that almost makes the image slightly green so to balance that out we're going to just reduce the green as well and it's just finding a sort of nice balance between these three where we're sort of losing the yellow but we're not kind of going too far in the others and I think I'm quite happy with that there we've got a sort of a nice bluer light to the image now we've lost that yellow tone but we still have the nice kind of contrast we've got in the image so that's the color balance tool and you can use that to, if your image is too blue and you want to make it more yellow you could do the reverse process to also get those colors back into your image now once I'm happy with my color balance in my image I then will go back to the adjustment layers and add a levels tool and the levels, what this does is it can help increase the bright areas of the image and darken the dark areas too. So you can adjust the contrast at both ends of that scale. And we're going to use the histogram here. If you take the right hand tab of this histogram and drag it to the left, the lighter parts of the image will brighten up. So if I drag this right across, you'll see the image gets very bright. But we can use it just to up the sort of white areas slightly. And then we'll do the opposite with the black tab on the left hand side and this will increase the shadows in the image so you can see that it's getting a bit more contrasty as we move that across and i'll just turn it on and off so you can see the difference there it's just kind of increasing the dark areas and increasing the light areas too and therefore upping the overall contrast of the image this is a bit more controlled than just using a contrast modifier because you can be more specific about the light tones and the dark tones in the image when you use this method. Now what you might also want to do is I sometimes add a hue saturation adjustment and you might want to just turn down the saturation of the image if it's got a bit too much color in there. Sometimes a kind of minus 30% sort of desaturates the image slightly and just gives it a kind of more neutral tones to the overall image as well. So I'm going to add that in. And then as a final tweak, just to kind of up that contrast and make the image more punchy, we can add in a black and white adjustment layer. Now what this would do by default, it will just make the image black and white, but then if we take that black and white layer, and instead of having it on a normal blending mode, I'm going to click on this drop down and we'll put it on a soft light blending mode. Now what that does, you can see there, is it just picks up all the colors and just really sharpens up the overall image. Sometimes the effect is a bit too intense, so I might just drop it down to a kind of 45 degree, maybe a 30% fill there. And you can see that that's just upping that contrast a little bit more, just using that black and white on a soft light blending mode. And from there, I'm quite happy now with the overall effect of my image. 
One last tweak I sometimes do when editing photos is I'll select the whole image just using the marquee tool and then if you go edit and copy merged or shift control C what this does is it will copy all your adjustment layers and your base layer there. Then if we select the top layer and then just go make a new layer and go control V or edit and paste it will paste that copy merge layer on top so what that's done is it's merged all of these adjustments and our base layer together and copied and pasted them into one layer on top of all our other layers and what that means is we can now apply filters to that layer so we can go to the filter menu and as a final tweak on any images I'll always add a camera raw filter effect and what this does is it gives you kind of overall photograph color controls so we can adjust the temperature even more can make it kind of a little bit warmer if you want to bring some of that warmth back. We can adjust the vibrance or the saturation. You can play around with the highlights and the shadows. And one last option I usually do is just upping this clarity meter. And what this does is it will just sharpen up the image but also kind of give it a little bit more contrast as well. And once that's done we'll hit OK. And there we have our final image edit. So just to see a before and after, I'm just going to go back to the original. So that was our original shot, kind of less contrast, more yellowy tones, and this was our final photograph. Well, we've got that kind of high contrast, very sharp image, good light and shadow balance, and also we've reduced those yellow tones, and we've got a kind of more neutral colour palette in that whole image. So that was a very quick tutorial just on simple image editing for model photographs in Photoshop. Thank you for watching.